welcome back i hope you're doing well i wanted to share this video with you i'm just showing you how i um, use and choose some of the ingredients i use when making uh, my recipes my products um, how to read uh, some of the guidelines on the supplier websites if you're trying to use a particular ingredient so i hope this video helps you out because i get asked a lot of questions so i'm going to show you how i do this so let's jump right in and if this is your first time watching any of my videos my name is esther and i make diy natural hair and skincare videos and i have a bunch of other helpful videos so please check those out I'm going to use an example of a lotion recipe that I made. I'm going to show you how to choose the ingredients and how to read the amount that you need um, for those particular ingredients for this recipe. So certain recipes, you need some basic ingredients. So for a lotion recipe, you need to have water. So that's going to be your distilled water or floral water, like your hydrosols. You need some butter or oil that's going to be um, used in the recipe. And then most importantly, you need your emulsifying wax and you also need thickeners. So this is an example of a basic lotion recipe ingredients that you need. So here's an example of a basic guideline for your lotions. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. It's for Bramble Berries lotion recipe. It's a really good example. So this is just a guideline to use. So this will help you choose your ingredients when making your lotion. So I'm going to be using Lotion Crafters website um, to show you some of the ingredients for this recipe. So I'm just going to find um, one of the ingredients that I need. Um, so I'm going to look for um, an emulsifier since that's the main ingredient for this recipe. There are so many options on their website. So just read uh, some of the options they have, but this is the one I'm going to be using for this example. Emulsifying wax NF, it's very, very common. So what you want to do, you want to go down, read all the information for this emulsifying wax, and then you want to choose the uh, formulation guide. The formulation guide is what's going to tell you what the recommended um, use rate is. So this is what it recommends for lotions and creams, um, three to five percent. So then you just have to play around with it and see if you like um, the percentage that you select. So next, I'm going to move on to thickeners. You need that for this recipe. So for the thickener, that is going to be steric acid. Um, you will do the same thing on their website. You will just read the description so that way you know what it does. And then you would go to the formulation guide and their recommended percent is one to 25%. So that is just a guideline. You have to play around with the ingredients, see how you like it in your formulation, depending on how thick um, you want your lotion to be, that's how much you would use. So for the next uh, thickener, Xanthan Gum Clear, this is cosmetic grade. You would also check the description so you know what this uh, Xanthan Gum is for the description this one is the clear one and then you would also go to the usage rate which is 0.1 to 2 percent i personally do not use my xanthan gum more than one percent but like i said you have to play around with the percentages and see how you like it the same thing applies uh, for the preservatives as well there are so many options but you still have to um, just do some reading do some research and then choose the one that best uh, suits your uh, recipe so for this one i'm using optifan this is one of the common ones um, that i use um, so once you select it you would do um, you just go down to the description um, read all the information for Optifen, the guidelines, how to use it. Um, this is very important um, when using any preservative. And then it will also tell you um, what the usage rate is, which is 0.5 to 1.5%. 
I wanted to thank everyone that has signed up for my Patreon. I appreciate you guys so much. And I also wanted to mention the next online class is September 26th. It's a very detailed two and a half hour class on Zoom. I go over so many things with making your uh, natural skincare products, calculating your preservatives, ingredients, writing um, your formula. All that is covered in the class. Uh, the registration link is in the description box if you are interested in signing up. So for essential oils and fragrances, it varies from supplier to supplier. So depending on where you buy, um, the website should list the general guidelines for those um, fragrances or essential oils. So you want to make sure you're buying from good suppliers, reputable suppliers, so that way you have that information. So when making your products, once you have this basic information, this guidelines, it makes it easier when you want to make your uh, DIY recipes or if you're making uh, products for a business. So for extracts, um, that is um, an additional ingredient. It would also be the same guidelines as well. So using Lotion Crafters website, um, you can search for extracts. This is an example of one. You would go down, read the description. It would tell you all that information for that extract, the benefits, all that, as well as the formulation guide. That would also tell you how much to use um, for that extract um, in your recipe. So moving on to butters, um, in this lotion recipe, uh, the butters you use is entirely up to you, your selection, how much to use. Uh, the 10 to 20% is just a general lotion recipe guideline. Um, you don't have to use as much as 20% um, in your recipe. So using Wholesale Supplies Plus on their website, they have so many different options for butters. Um, they have their own recommendation as well. Um, so you would just select the butter that you want. In this case, I selected Shea Butter. Um, it gives all the information about Shea Butter butter then if you go to the directions um, it will tell you what their recommendation is if you want to use this in lotions and creams of course you can use more the uh, suggested usage rates is just a guideline to help you when you're making your formulations or your recipes same thing with another butter uh, like mango butter you will still follow the same thing you will go select that butter look through the information the description as well as the formulation guideline as well so with making any formulation any diy recipe all this uh, supplier guidelines this is just to help you when you're making your recipe i would recommend you join maybe skincare groups support groups um, take classes online when you can in your local area online formulating takes time it takes practice but you have to equip yourself with the correct information so that way you can get started the right way i hope you found this video helpful and useful in your formulating making your diy recipes please don't forget to subscribe like this video and also turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos that i upload and i'll see you in the next video bye